Protraction of the upper jaw, maxilla. Some children born with a craniofacial anomaly have an anterior crossbite. This is when the upper jaw, known as the maxilla, sits behind the lower jaw. Various methods can be used to pull forward the maxilla. This is called maxillary protraction. For many children, the upper jaw is widened before it is protracted. This is done using an expander, which is a metal device fitted onto the upper teeth. The expander is opened using a small key to turn a screw inside it. Over a period of time, this helps to expand the roof of the mouth and widen the upper jaw. The maxilla may be protracted in younger children for functional or aesthetic reasons. To do this, they can be fitted with a protraction face mask. A metal bar sits vertically in front of the child's face with support from the chin and forehead. The metal bar in front of the face is attached to the expander or another device in the child's mouth using elastics which apply tension on the maxilla to pull it forward. The goal is to bring the upper front teeth in front of the lower front teeth and this can take a few months. The protraction face mask is worn by the child for approximately 12 to 14 hours per day. Use of a protraction face mask can have an impact on a child's facial profile and it can help to improve their bite. However, it is possible for an anterior crossbite to reoccur with time. Protraction can also be attempted in adolescence for functional or aesthetic reasons at the time of a growth spurt. Some clinical teams may use an expander to widen the upper jaw first. The expander is opened using a small key to turn a screw inside it. Sometimes a cycle of opening and closing the expander is recommended for a period of seven to nine weeks. The expander is opened for approximately one week and then closed again for one week after. This cycle helps to loosen the roof of the mouth and widen the upper jaw. To protract the maxilla, different methods can be used for adolescents. Sometimes elastics are attached to metal anchors which are fixed to the upper and lower jawbone. These are called bone anchors. In other cases, elastics or springs are attached to dental appliances which are fixed to the bone via temporary screws. Whatever method is used, the elastics or springs are usually worn for 24 hours a day for as long as needed. Over a period of time, the maxilla is pulled forward. The impact of protraction often continues into adulthood without further treatment. But this is not always the case. Please contact your own clinical team for the local protocol.